What's up? This is Audrey. After 1 minute and 30 seconds, it starts to drop rapidly, and at 1 minute and 55 seconds, it drops below 0.1 volt and turns off. If you look closely at the hydrogen tank, 14 milliliters of hydrogen is left based on the water level inside, about 7 milliliters based on the water level outside. Even so, no more electricity was being made, so the motors and LEDs in the car kit stopped. Probable cause is that hydrogen and oxygen cannot enter because the fuel cell is full of H2O, which is made by combining hydrogen and oxygen. Theoretically, on the oxygen side, hydrogen and oxygen are combined with changing into gaseous or liquid water. But in reality, H2O also exists on the hydrogen side. This time, I will also open the lower exit on the hydrogen side. I'll open the outlet down the oxygen side and see what happens. When I open the outlet, a few drops of water come out, but no electricity is generated. The reason electricity was not made was not because water produced by the combination of hydrogen and oxygen was not discharged. Looking at the voltage, opening the lower outlet and the oxygen side doesn't raise the voltage particularly. As soon as I open the cap, Electricity starts to be made. Water droplets fall from the lower outlet on the hydrogen side. The carcass motors and LEDs light up at about 2 minutes and 35 seconds. You can see this more clearly by looking at the voltage graph. When I open the outlet, the voltage goes up to 0.7 volt and stays constant. Then, after about 1 minute, the voltage drops to 0.2 volts, and the motor and LED operate weakly. Even if I touch the outlet tube on the oxygen side, the voltage does not rise. When I tap the outlet tube on the hydrogen side, the voltage goes up to 0.7 volt again, and the motor and LED start working. After about 40 seconds, the voltage drops and when you flick the tube again, the voltage rises again. During this process, the hydrogen and oxygen in the tanks continue to decrease. About 5 minutes after starting the experiment, hydrogen and oxygen were exhausted in the hydrogen and oxygen tanks. Nothing happens anymore when I flick the hydrogen outlet tube. Let me conclude. When generating electricity with Horizon's fuel cell, after about 2 minutes, oxygen and hydrogen combine the oxygen side to make H2O gas and liquid, and some H2O goes over to the hydrogen side. Since the fuel cell is full of H2O, even if there is a lot of hydrogen and oxygen in the tanks, hydrogen and oxygen cannot react in the fuel cell anymore, so electricity cannot be made. If H2O is removed from the lower outlet on the hydrogen side, electricity can be continuously generated. In fact, this phenomenon is not unique to the Horizon fuel cell kit. Theoretically, water is generated only on the oxygen side, which is the anode. However, in reality, water is produced on the oxygen side as it passes through the membrane separating the anode and cathode, and this is called a flood. Thank you for watching. Audrey has spoken so far.